Welcome back to our series of updating throttles. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to update a throttle with our integrated web interface. The integrated web interface is a user interface built into all of TCS's Wi-Fi devices, such as the UWT100 and CS105, which allows you to modify the settings and update firmware using a web browser. The coolest part about this method is that you can use any device with Wi-Fi and a web browser, even your cell phone. For this demonstration, however, we will be using a PC. Before we begin, we will go download the firmware for the product we are updating. To find firmware, navigate to our website and head over to the software tab. Here, a drop down will appear with three different options. We want to click on Firmware Files for LCC products. On this page, we will have all the firmware files that you need for any one of our many TCS products. Download the firmware that you need. During the download, the file will come into your downloads folder. You can find it here. In our case, we moved the file from our downloads folder onto the desktop. This is not necessary, but it is easier for us to demonstrate it this way. It is important to know that this method will not work with UWT100 throttles that have the older bootloader versions before 1.4. All UWT50 throttles support this method. If you'd like to check which version you have on your throttle, here is a simple way to do so. First, turn off your throttle. Then, start the throttle. Instead of pressing button 2, like it says on the screen, press button 7. Here, at the top of the screen, you will see which version of the bootloader you have. For example, 1.4 or 1.2. If no number is shown, your bootloader is version 1.0. To exit, press button 9 and the throttle will boot up normally. If you have an older version that you would like to update to version 1.4 bootloader, you can return the UWT100 throttle to TCS to upgrade it to version 1.4. This will enable those throttles to take advantage of this newer and quicker way of updating throttles in the future. For more information about this, see episode 4 in this series where we cover this process in more detail. To get started, we want to connect your computer and throttle to the same Wi-Fi network. If you use the same PC to run your layout using the throttle you will be updating, you can skip the setup instructions by going to this timestamp. To connect to your PC, start by turning your throttle on. Press the menu button. Then scroll down to network options or hit button six. Select Add Network or hit button 3. The throttle will prompt you to scan for a Wi-Fi signal. Hit button 1 to start scanning. It will only take a second or so to find Wi-Fi networks, and the throttle will show you a list. Select the network that your PC is connected to. If your network is password protected, you will be prompted to enter the password automatically. Once entered, it will be connected to that network. You can now power off your throttle. Depending on the version of Windows you are using, 
the Wi-Fi network options will be in a different place. In Windows 10, in the lower right corner, click on this symbol. Then, select the same Wi-Fi network that you connected to your throttle with. Now we can begin updating the throttle. Here is a reminder of how to enter into the bootloader. Start the throttle. Instead of pressing button 2, like it says on the screen, press button 7. Open your favorite web browser and type in my.tcsdcc.com. This is the website address of your throttle, or the IP address shown on the screen into the address bar. The throttle has its own hosted built in web page that your computer will connect to. At the top of the screen, you will see three tabs. The tab we want to click on, Firmware Update, will only show up in bootloader mode. On the Firmware Update page, click on Select File, and the File Explorer will open. From there, you can select the firmware file you downloaded earlier. Finally, click on Update. This version of updating is the fastest of all the methods available and will finish in only a few seconds. It is normal for the screen to flash. This shows that the update is in progress. It is normal to show erasing and writing messages on the screen. After it is done updating, the web page will say success and your throttle will reboot into the latest firmware. Congratulations, you have now updated your throttle with the latest firmware. If the web interface does not load, you need to double check that your PC and throttle are on the same Wi-Fi. If you have any questions about this method, feel free to contact our technical support team. The details are listed on our website. And thank you for watching.